Alright guys, welcome to another video. Um, this time Ismail Birje requested a video about the LibGX Pix map. And the Pix map is basically just a way to edit, to modify textures um, while the game is running. So that's pretty nice. Um, let's go ahead and do it. So for what I have here, um, I basically just loaded a drop image into a texture and on a Pix map so I am able to draw on it. Uh, isn't really the best image editor ever, but it can be improved. However, it shows the basic functionality. I can also load images that I previously made um, or save them like this, save, draw some other stuff and load it again. Okay, so this is what we want to do today. Let's get started. The problem is that right now we only have this. It tells us that the texture is null so that it doesn't crash. But that's also about it already. So let's get started actually creating this. This is the um, screen for the, uh, the not working thing that I just showed you. We have a sprite badge that's ready to draw stuff um, and a texture that's going to be drawn. Um, then we just create the sprite badge. Uh, in render I clear the screen and I say badge begin, badge should end, all normal stuff. And if the texture is null, um, we are logging this message here, otherwise we are just drawing the texture in the bottom left corner. Uh, in this post, I just dispose everything and then hide it as post. Okay, so let's get started making the actual program out of this. The first thing that we need is obviously a pix map. Now we have multiple options how to create such a pix map. Uh, we can load in PixMap from an existing from an existing image, or we can create our own one. Let's actually do both. So let's first say PixMap equals new PixMap, and there we go with all the constructors. The first one is the file handle. The second one takes a GDX2D PixMap, which you probably don't want to do because, well, it's basically the underlying PixMap in the PixMap. Um, then you can give it a byte array of the data encoded, but that's a very unlikely use case. And finally, the easiest one to create a new one, giving it the width, height, and the pixel format. Um, we are just going to load something that we already have. So let's say gdx.files.internal assets.drop. So assets.drop is just a string. Um, okay then it's basically it for now because it crashes every second of course um, we have the pix map loaded already but if we create such a pix map we should also dispose it so let's go in here in the dispose method say pix map dot dispose pretty important otherwise you will get pretty bad memory leaks um, we loaded the pix map but the pix map is not yet on the texture the texture is still null so how to get this pix map on the texture? Um, pretty easy actually, just texture equals new texture and we give it the pix map. And that's about it. We can already view this. Let's see, yeah, that's the drop. We could also have just have loaded the texture immediately, but we decided to, well, create it from the, text, from the pix map. Um, now let's get the basic editing in, because we want to edit this um, image. Uh, for this we're going to extend the input adapter, so we can override some methods. And most importantly, say gdx.input.setInputProcessor to this. And now let's override some methods. Let's override the touchDirect method. Inside here we are going to, well, modify our, our pix map. We are going to draw on it. And for this the pix map has a few basic drawing functions. At first we can set the color. So let's set the color to color dot cyan. Oh no, the, the drop is already like cyan. Let's say color dot green. Yeah, why not? Color dot green. Um, then the pix map has all sorts of drawing functions. So what do we have here? We have draw circle, which draws the outline of a circle. We have draw line, draw pixel, um, and draw another pix map onto the pix map. We can draw rectangles, 
Um, we can fill the pixel map with the currently set color, but we don't want to do that because that would just simply override all of the image that we just put in the pixel map, loaded the pixel map from. Um, and we have the same methods with fill. So fill circle, fill a rectangle, and fill triangle. Uh, we don't have all of them. I mean, fill line makes no sense, but we don't have a draw triangle, for example. Maybe that's going to be added later, but for now we just have fill triangle. Whatever. Um, let's go ahead and actually choose one of those. So we want to fill a circle. And we want to fill a circle from, uh, yeah, basically where the touch has been wrecked to. So let's say screen X, screen Y, and the radius of 5. Note that this is not really correct because a PIX map um, has its own text, uh, its own coordinate system, and that goes from the top left to the bottom right like the normal screen coordinates as well. But the touch drag, oh yeah, the touch drag actually does the same. But have a look at this this um, image here again. The drop is actually bigger. As you can see here, uh, if I just reload this, the drop actually goes up to here and the image was just like down to there. So the image would have to have the exact same height as the drop, um, which would be like, this in order to function properly, but we have to kind of subtract some stuff to get the correct coordinates. So depending on how you implement this in your game, you're going to have to do this differently. But for now, um, it's just going to be the screen Y um, minus the stuff here, I have to think gx.graphics.getHeight minus pixmap.getHeight. So there's also some methods of the pixmap. We can get the pixmap height and width uh, in pixels. Let's hope that this is correct. Restart. And we will see absolutely nothing. Yep, because we are now drawing on the pixmap, but we are not updating this onto the texture. Uh, we could, of course, say texture dot dispose and then create the texture like here again but it is probably more efficient to say texture dot draw give it the pix map and zero zero so like this we can also draw smaller pix maps onto the texture but um, yeah we basically want to put the whole texture all updated again on there just for simplicity so now let's see if that does make any difference and yeah there we go this is all the stuff I draw previously draw drew previously but yeah, we can now draw onto the pix map. Isn't that great? Um, okay, so let's add some more to it, like, yeah, saving, basically. Let's say we want to save stuff. For this, we are going to use some key controls. Let's say we have the key type method. And we are going to switch onto the character that has been typed. In the case, none of those that we handle, we want to return because the event has not really been handled and otherwise we won't do stuff. So let's say in case um, L or let's first say uh, S this means that we want to save something and we're going to return true because the event has been handled then. So in case S has been pressed. Um, how do we save stuff? There We don't have something like pixmap.save or something we need to use another class that's called pixmapio.write. Uh, now we have two options, write cim or write png. So write png sounds pretty familiar. We just output a basic png image, which we can load again using this pixmap uh, constructor here. Or we can write a cim, and that's probably what you want to do because it's fast. Um, CAM is a file format that just exists in libgdx and well currently um, and is basically for safe writing and reading. So for example if you develop an Android game and the user presses the home button um, the textures are all being lost and being restored once you uh, once the user opens up the app again. That's that stuff that has to do with the OpenGL context and, and stuff like that. So if you have a texture that relies on this pixmap, 
you probably quickly want to save it and quickly want to open it up again. It doesn't have to be super compressed or whatever. That's what the PNG would be for. So this takes a file handle. Let's call that file and the pixmap. Um, let's create this file handle up here. And we cannot use the internal file because internal files are read only. You can only read from them. So I'm going to use local. Um, if, in case you don't know what local is because you don't use it so often, uh, it's pretty simple. If I just get up to javadoc here, file type local is a path relative to the private files directory on Android and to the application's root directory on desktop. So it at least stays where the uh, actual application is as well and doesn't spray all over the system, which I like. So let's say bin image um, pixmap.cim. So why bin? Because this is happening in the bin folder of Eclipse that Eclipse made. This may vary depending on your configuration. Um, okay, so I'll import the file handle here and there we go. We write the cam down. Let's just quickly Output something gdx.app.log pixmap tutorial or let's yeah editor sounds professional um, and we'll just say saved to uh, file okay now in case load We want to use the pixmap IO again, but this time we have to load to the actual pixmap. And before we remember that these are actually just pointers, everything is, is a pointer. So we would first like to dispose of pixmap before we put a new pixmap instance into this pointer. So pixmap equals um, pixmap IO dot read. And this can just read from a CIM. Uh, because you don't, if you want to load from PNG, you can just use the constructor that we used up here. So pixmapio.read from the file. But we should previously check if the file actually exists. Otherwise, we'll say uh, gdx.files.app, uh, gdx.app.log, pixmap editor uh, file doesn't exist. Okay, and in this case we also want to say gdx.app.log pixmap editor loading uh, loaded from file. Looks all very professional in the end and it's actually not. Okay, anyway. Um shut up. Okay, what else is there that we want to do? Nothing really important, but just for you to know what's going on, I'll just say um, I'm switching on case R as well. That's not defined in the screen here. That's in the Sumlib GX tests class in the game, in the class A6 tens game. So you just know what's, what's going on. Uh, restarting screen. And why the ink form there? Restart screen. Uh, return true. Oh my god. And I'll just say gdx.app.log pixmap editor restarted screen. Okay. So that's it for the key type method. I hope this all makes sense to you. Uh, let's see if it works. Well, we can we can not really check if it works because we are oh we are able to draw. Yeah, we are able to draw it. I don't know what's going on in my brain, but we are able to draw. That's great. So we are able to check this stuff here. Let's go into the main class, start this up, and if I press R, it says restarted screen. Okay, and if I press L, it says loaded from. And what is it? It actually exists. Oh, that's nice. It, it actually existed, uh, probably from a previous test. Otherwise, we can draw something on it. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. This is from a previous test. <laughs> and um, we forgot one thing. If we load, we actually create the pix map, but we don't uh, say texture dot uh, draw 
fixed map at zero zero. So that's why it didn't just appear uh, immediately. So if we do this and now I load, we actually see the image that I drew previously. Now we can, I don't know, this guy didn't brush his teeth in a while. So he has some problems with the bacteria here. Oh, that looks bad. That looks really bad. You should go to the doctor. And now we save this. I pressed S. So save to bin. Oh, come on. Save to bin image pixmap.cam. And now I draw some other stuff or even restart the whole screen and even draw some other stuff. And L loads it from the CAM file again. Um, that's pretty nice in my opinion. <laughs> and um, yeah, why not? <laughs> in the end, let's just say we want, oh no, that would basically make no sense if we delete the file. Because we can also close the app down, the file is still on the file system. Um, and the next time you, you, the user opens up the app, he can go there and load it again. So that's something great. You could, for example, let the user um, defi draw in a minimalistic editor, uh, draw his own character face or something like this great guy here. Uh, what else can we do with the pix map? I think that's basically about it. Yeah, that's actually about it. We still have a bunch of uh, drawing functions like fill triangle, fill rectangle, fill circle, but I think they are pretty easy to understand. Um, we can also get the pixel but this returns an int in the RGB A8. Oh yeah, that's something that we want to go about. So let's say we don't want to load this new pix map from an already existing file. We actually want to create our own one. So we'll give this the width, height and format. I'll just go extreme and create one with the width of the window, the height of the window. So basically the window size. And then we have to give it the format. So what's the format? The format is the pixel format, the uh, way the color space is saved, basically. So we have alpha, intensity, luminance alpha, uh, and that's you could use these for, um, for example, if you combine two things, well, whatever, let's just go over the basic ones first. Um, most common is probably RGBA8888, which stands for red, blue, uh, green, blue and alpha and 8 bits per channel uh, gives you basically the best possible quality and for background images or something you would want to use this. RGBA4444 is still a pretty nice quality um, and is basically what you want to use if you edit the pixel map all the time. Then we have the same uh, with RGB uh, for the high quality but no alpha channel and so no transparency and RGB 565 which is basically like 444 just 5 pixels uh, 5 bits 6 bits and 5 bits uh, we could say this is the best this is an okay quality for images that do not need alpha then we just have something that only has the alpha channel and other stuff that's probably a little bit too advanced even for me I don't know so We'll just go with 4444 four, four, four because we edit this image all the time and I think it still looks pretty nice. Let's hope that. Um, so if we load this up now, we see there's nothing. We can still draw on it and I don't know why the hell it's so freaking slow right now. Didn't I just say the 4444 four, four, four would be faster? Uh, that's the wrong, that's the wrong thing. So we want to start this up and hope that it's not so ridiculously slow. Yeah, it actually is so ridiculously slow. I have no idea why. When I chose 8888, it was fast. Okay. Well, you'll find out yourself what's fast and what's not. Uh, probably because it, ex it usually handles the 8-bit RGBs, whatever. Um, okay, so uh, that's it. Um, you can draw, load, save your own stuff, uh, absolutely great. Uh, you could, for example, use this if your car collides with something, you can draw the damage onto the, yeah, onto the image, onto the texture. Uh, like I said, let the user draw his own characters, anything. Uh, great possibilities you have there. So have fun with the pix maps, uh, make sure to dispose and yeah. I hope you liked this video. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.